Okay, let's think. The start of last session, there was the old shambling mound, wasn't there? And Lavellus oh, yeah. and Oren. Lavellus, I think, talked talk to it of sorts and kind of worked out that there's some kind of uh, dark goings on in this forest. And if I remember rightly, the shambling mound then picked up Aaron's, Anna's character, I should say, and just sort of placed, um, placed her down by one of the stones and then luckily the shambling mound shambled off and he pointed in the direction of east so that was handy so off we went east and i think that's where we found the tree with the giant pumpkins and also several uh graves some which were dug some which were not which kind of very quickly after we started reading some of these um some of the gravestones on it. Uh, I think we worked out that one of them was freshly dug. And before we knew it, we had uh, three, I think, recently made zombies, shall we say. And then 20 odd skeletons who weren't too happy with our, uh, our presence at said graveyard. So we had a big, big battle and it was kind of crazy, uh, but we got through it. Uh, pretty well actually i think uh, i don't think anyone went down if i remember rightly so uh yeah we i've i think the most enemies i've ever faced playing D, which obviously i've played D a lot was maybe the uh, uh what were they called in the chain the four of them whether we fought the black iron pact that's yeah. probably the most enemies oh, yeah. We've, I've ever faced. Uh, Black Iron so Pact was just uh, like six guys. Through 20 on it. Yeah, was, yeah, we've, like, yeah. Oh, okay, yep. here we go. Yeah, and you guys uh, fucking anyway, killed it. We did that, and then we kind of did a bit more exploring. Oh, you guys can hear me. We found um, basically like a, a crazy tree, I think, which we, we sort of discovered by seeing, seeing a light, if I remember rightly. We found our way up there, and that's where we found uh, basically a gang of people have like hidden hidden up there and some of them were some of the people that i think we were sent to rescue uh and we're like okay well we're gonna take you home and some of them were like well maybe we won't go home yet and some would go well maybe we should go home and we were thinking well what do we do we don't want to split up our party because i remember splitting a party is not always the best of ideas so that would be we cool just though a- uh, yeah. If you well, guys split up and went on two, went and forked the entire campaign, and some of you went north with these guys, and some of you went south, that'd be fucking crazy. Anyway, well, I think right now we can't go anywhere because if we turned around to leave uh, the place we found, there would be it would be blocked by several goblins who don't uh, look very friendly, and I think that's where we left off. Uh, Give or take. There we go. Sounds right to me. Correct. Uh, keep in mind, you can you could absolutely leave. Just jump off this bridge and drop, fall into the water, and then fuck off and leave these humans to the gobos. You say that. Let's do that and go to the the tomb of uh, whatever perpetual <laughs> weirdness. Yeah. The to- <laughs> perpetual. Bro, the tomb <laughs> of perpetual weirdness. <laughs> How weird is it? It's per- it's perpetually weird. It's yeah. yeah. How long has it been weird? Perpetually. Oh, just forever. Yeah, it's perpetually weird. It's in the name. There are two things you have to know about the Temple of Perpetual Weirdness. First, it is weird. All we're right. Here, we're here all week. We're all, yeah, we're, yeah. Everybody roll initiative now that you're getting an automatic bonus from Tom. And <laughs> roll well, because if these goblins go first, never mind. Yay! Uh, uh, there it is. Yay! So I got a boo, and then a yay, and then a yay. And then a... Uh, 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 and then Anna <laughs> has not rolled. Where is everything? Awesome. So, Ko, you hear the sound of screaming. Humans screaming. And some of these screams are coming from beyond your vision. They're coming from up on the, the sawed-off stump, which has multiple levels to it. And the humans are panicking. And there are goblins. Not only are there goblins who are cutting off your exit down here, these guys... There are also goblins crawling up, uh, pulling themselves up over the sides of the tree stump. Where's the uh, the acolyte again? That's uh, this person, Demelza. Demelza? Yep. Okay, well, that's the only person I really care about here. So, um, <laughs> She's the mission. Yeah, she's the mission, and Ko doesn't like 
although he's a pr- he's impressed that they got these horses and carriages up here. Uh, he just wants to protect the acolyte because that was the goal here. Um, so I'm going to run in front of these three goblins here. Cool. And uh, I'm going to do. Am I targeting them now? Yes. Like, yep. Uh, I'm going to do a new one. So this is my five storms attack technique. So it's a it's a a burst one. Cool. Does it affect Ooh. enemies or everybody? Each enemy you can see in Sweet. burst. So Lavellus is safe. Awesome. Yay. 14, 18, 18. Oh, hell yes. <sighs> They're all dead. dead. Damn. That's so Ooh, I think yes. this is just one sweeping blow with my club. Woo-hoo. Smashed three in one blow. Sweet. Uh, do you get any right. anything cool happen after you do that? Uh, I thought it was pretty cool. That was pretty awesome. Okay. Uh, uh, no, that's it. That was Ko. Ko is done. It's uh... Goblin Hex. So where is that? I can't see it on the... Yeah, it's, uh, you don't have really good line of sight to everything like above the stairs. It's too, huh. bad. It's too bad. Oh, I see. It's too bad. You should, yeah. But I mean, who knows? So I'm sure it's fine. She is going to target this old human and she's going to try and blind this guy and she succeeds you see this guy here you see mundrand you see him all of a sudden like um this explosion of green a cloud of green dust and like stinging nettles erupts right in front of his eyes and he goes ah and he grasps, his, he puts his hands over his eyes, and he falls to his knees, and his face is bleeding, and he's in a lot of pain, and he can't see. And you hear uh, the sound of an old female goblin going, <laughs> Zoga. Cool, all right. I head up here. One, two. <laughs> Co milks the goblins. Four. Oh, God. <laughs> I, I have a uh, swift charge, so I get a, a, a plus two to my speed. So I take a running charge at this guy, one, two, three, four, and I make a basic attack. So this is just a regular weapon attack, not a special power. Hiya! You definitely fucking hit. Nice. <laughs> Status wounded. I'm going to go ahead and hit him with the, with the old furious assault. Nice. Extra damage. Just go ahead and roll a d8 and then drag it onto him. Let me see if this makes a difference. Yeah. Yeah, that, that was it. I, I didn't actually roll the yeah. damage die. Fair enough. Okay. Um, cool. Yeah, so you have bloodied this goblin warrior. Ah, oh, a goblin warrior. So this guy is going to go... Rah! Rah! One, two, three, four, five. And he's going to target this woman. He's going to spear her. Oh, she's dead. Uh, he actually missed. <laughs> oh, hey! oh, man. And then uh, he's done. And this goblin warrior is going to attack uh, Zoga. And uh, what is uh, what has he got here? What can he do? He can do nothing. I think this is going to work. So, Tom, you get an attack of opportunity against this goblin warrior. Uh, you have to roll to hit like normal with a weapon, but it's just a basic attack because he's leaving the square you threaten. Yay. One, yes. two, three. Uh, all right. The goblin moves up to half its speed. At any point during that movement, it makes a ranged attack without provoking opportunity attacks. So he is going to um, javelin you, Tom. He's going to try. He missed. Ha <laughs> ha. I just like a sucker. tilt one shoulder back and it flies like right next to my ear and then Here's i giggle the at him down below <laughs> a little chuckle as he runs away oh actually for opportunity attacks it says you can take only one opportunity action during another combatant's turn but you can take any number during a round you hear the sounds to the north 
actually not that far from Yuzoga, about, you know, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, about 50 feet away, you hear uh, the sound of the, the telltale sign, the telltale sounds of a goblin going, Rah! and then you hear a, oh God, ah, ah! that can't be good. It's Sir Vanazor of the New Hampshire Vanazors. I don't like the look of what that he hexer did. So... That means I can attack, yeah. So you re, was it? Uh, Having now proved that you can do it, you don't have to actually retrace my steps. I'm just gonna go. Okay, when what you move there, go. this dude gets an attack of opportunity against you. Actually, I am. Or do you want to stop there? Uh, actually, I'm gonna change my mind. I'm gonna go here. Okay, but, the, I'm gonna, but you go don't on. have. Uh, she's, um, she's, you know, o o over ten feet higher than you. That's upstairs. Oh, gotcha. I, right, sorry. In that case, I'm going to chance it. So, yeah, take your Okay, so this guy is going to target you, and uh, he is going to use a short sword. God, look how easy this fucking is. He hits, and he does. He's a minion. He's a minion, so he just does four damage. Doesn't matter what the die says. It rolls a die, but it's always four. Okay. All right. Uh, I ain't gonna and don't remember, you, whoever you attack right now, you get plus one because you charged. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, target a hexer because I didn't like what they just did to that old man. So, and I have to use my. Look at uh, fucking Servanas are charging up to the second level by himself. <laughs> yeah, no so messing around. Every bad guy How up here is gonna be like, "Look, the Dragon Man." I think all of the civilians are gonna be like that too. You hit. Good. And then let's do a bit of damage. Come on. Ooh, wounded. That's not blooded. No, nope, correct. Okay, then. It would have been nice if you blooded them, but that didn't happen. Mm -hmm. That will end my turn. Orin, crazy shit's going on up here. Look at this fucking battle. There's, also, there's goblins attacking humans. So far, there are no dead humans. But there's things are, you know, dicey. Um, how tall is this tree from, like, the platform that most of us are on? Uh, I think it's 60 feet off the ground. You said it's 10 feet where Vanazor is right now? Yeah, the stairs go 10 feet up. What I'm trying to think about doing is using a charge, and then instead of making a melee basic attack, I was thinking about bull rushing this goblin cutter that's, like, right next to the hexer, and, like, pushing her off this thing to, um... Get her onto the same level as everybody else. And I'm pretty sure if I push the cutter, I think it pushes the hexer, and then the cutter won't fall over the edge, but I think the hexer would if I. That sounds cool. Go for it. Two. Ba -da 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 -da. <laughs> uh, at this point, I'm going to target this guy, and then I'm going to make a. I think it's just like a strength check against him for a bull rush. And I get a plus one to it. Make a strength attack versus fortitude defense. Don't add any modifiers for the weapon you use. If I hit, I push it one square and shift into the vacated space. And then I get a plus one bonus to the attack roll because I charged up here. So let me open this. So I've got strength, but I need to add a plus one modifier. Uh, uh, what are you trying to do? Okay, if I want to make if I want to make a strength check against yep. their fortitude, is it literally just pulling? Oh, I guess it must be pulling this. Okay, let's try it. Cause it's a... Ooh. So you a got... A 12 uh, versus their fortitude. A 12 versus a goblin cutter fort is... Um, that is exactly what you need. Oh, cool. Ooh. Nice. So I think everybody shifts one. So yeah, go ahead and des describe what happens, Orin. Um, well, I charge up the stairs, and then, uh, after kind of seeing Vanazor do it, I'm like, alright, well, I can do that too. So I run up there, and I target the goblin cutter, and then I just, like, bodily kind of shove my shoulder into, into him. I'm assuming they're smaller than I am a little bit. Yeah. And so I just kind of bowl him over and watch him stumble and, and hit the, uh, hexer and watch her tumble over the side ten feet down. Do you use your shield? Um, I don't use my shield anymore, actually. Oh, okay. Uh, then, okay. Actually, wait. Do you I have a two-handed weapon, then? Uh, I have a one-handed weapon, and I have one hand that's, um, 
that's open for grabbing. So I want to change it a little bit as far as flavor goes. Okay, so instead so... of like the shoulder check thing, I want to just like sh shove his face <laughs> and make him stumble backwards into the hexer. That's cool. So unfortunately, I have to actually physically because this is uh, so ugh, the goblin hexer, the goblin cutter goes ah! and is shoved into the goblin hexer who is knocked off balance and wheels around for a second and then falls and actually i think with that uh do i get an attack of opportunity because i moved out of that square no forced movement does not provoke worth a chance wouldn't it <laughs> so yeah the goblin hexer falls and is prone uh and took a d6 damage which wasn't much that was my movement plus my action i don't have any like other things I can do, so I'm gonna go ahead and end my turn. There's Goblin Cutter Four. Uh, yeah, he would like to kill Servanazor. <laughs> so, a bit of a hill to climb for a Goblin minion. No way. So this is this guy, and he's also gonna attack uh, Servanazor. There we go. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time with this. Hit. Four more damage. Uh, this goblin cutter walks up to Anne Polly, young Anne Polly, and targets her. Oh, yeah, and you hear more screaming and more goblin cackling. But no deaths yet. Goblin cutter seven is going to attack Zoga. And he misses. Wait, Goblin Cutter 5 attacked Cervanazor? Yeah. Okay, well then he. I need to... Um, I have him marked, so yes, I should have gotten an attack on him. That's a, yeah, the, correct. That's But that's your... That you're, what, yes, correct. Go ahead and get, take, do what you do when a marked people attack people other than you. That is a hit. Yep. All right, I need a bit of damage. Dead. Goblin Cutter 5 is dead. I have undone the damage that he did to Savannah. Thank you. 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And he'll target Gwyr. Paul. Actually, he's going to go over here. Sorry, excuse me. And he's going to target Melisant. Uh, he misses. She's a, she's, a, she's a young person, so she's a little bit more agile. Uh, it's Lavellus. There's fucking it's me. chaos up here. Uh -huh. It sure is. Okay, let me see. Let me see. I hopefully I've counted this out right ahead of time. Someone. <laughs> Demelza gasps six. as and, and <laughs> reels. It's slightly in fear. <laughs> yeah. Um, you should be afraid. Um, so let me see okay one ten squares okay great um so yeah this is me trying to remember how to do all the different things that we already knew how to do yeah 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 <laughs> that's that's burst one right yes it is sorry uh, um, yes that is burst that is burst one great i'm gonna use song of briaris sweet on these oh. two yeah exactly that's it that's the exact song uh, that looks Ew. like two hits. Nice. Sweet. Cool. Um, and it does wisdom modifier radiant damage. Pew. And slowed. There we go. Sweet. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this goblin cutter is dead. Nice. Yeah. Good. Uh, the goblin cutter dies at the sound of the song of Briaris. The purity of the elven tones is too it's much. It's bits for of the tree as well, because this was the one that was like um, it previously used plant descriptions so i imagine bits of the tree like you climbing awaken, up them yeah. in china yeah you awaken yeah. you awaken the this uh this ancient tree blessed by the celestials and it starts to like grow vines and sprout green shoots that wrap around the goblin and choke it to death meanwhile the goblin yeah. warrior is like desperately pulling at these vines that are growing up around it shooting up out of the wood and it's just wearing it out you can see the goblin starting to get tired Hell exhausted yeah. um it, the, the you should have respect for the forest it isn't dead yet so that was lavellus are you done yep and i clicked the thing okay where <laughs> Where where are you? Uh, hang on a second. Where are you, this person? 
me zoom in. So when I do this, to the uh, right, right. So she is going north right. She is going to like this little girl uh, has a, a kitchen like a cooking knife, and she tries to it, she it desperately tries to use it against this goblin warrior. Yeah, and yeah. she misses and Ugh. screams, and then. Uh, oh, that's cool. She tries to defend. Uh, Barian tries to defend the young Polly girl with her own attack. And she actually manages to hit. And she kills hey. a fucking goblin. Nice. <laughs> Sweet. At us. Feels good, doesn't it? Uh, <laughs> Future adventurer in the making. Uh, this, this woman. Uh, is hiding well yeah let me see she's grabbing her husband and trying to get him to leave trying to get him to retreat the goblin skirmisher uh is sort of a little bit more interested in you guys than these old people these old humans uh this dude is going to go one two three four five six and he is bravely going to try and attack this goblin warrior. I like this guy. He has an improvised weapon. Oh, which he critted with. Oh, it's a crit. His improvised weapon. It doesn't. It does max damage. Nice. Everything. Every little wow. bit helps. <laughs> uh, what's he, I want to know what he's using. This guy, uh, in an attempt to. Oh, what's the? Well, I'm sorry. What's the improvised weapon? It's a pot. Yeah. It's a, a what? It's a, a pot. A cooking pot. Oh my god! Oh, and oh, nice. uh, and there was like soup in it, and now it's uh, it's uh, a stew rather spilled all over the place. But uh, he's a he's a uh, Karasek is a he's a you know a, he's a carpenter, so he's got he's got muscles built from years of working wood. Years. Looks like Batista. He does kind of yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, no. So uh, so. This old woman convinces the old man to retreat, and the goblin skirmisher is like, "Wait, wait, wait, wait! Hang on a minute! You don't get to just run away from me, bro!" Uh, yeah! Oh, you kidding me? Wow! Yeah. So the goblin skirmisher—he's a little distracted. He wants to kill the old man, but he really wants to kill the the elf. So unfortunately, uh, this dude manages to get away. Uh, Demelza is going to. Do something cool. Demelza is probably going to target this goblin warrior. Um, and she calls out to Karasek and says, get away from him. Get away. The goblin will kill you. Um, so, yeah, she is going to target the goblin warrior. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Demelza is going to target the goblin warrior. There we go. And you see her call upon um, the boatman. Ooh. And that has, she, yeah. a, a ray of a ray of sunlight doesn't come from her finger. It actually stabs down like from the sun, and does some damage. Oh, and I, she oh. is she oh. is killing that guy. Nice. Ooh. It was only a D, it was only, it was only D six. <laughs> it wasn't a lot, but a lot of people ganged up on that fucking goblin warrior. So he's now of interest only to historians. Uh, it is That's now. Right. Uh, this person who is going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. She's done. And Eleanor is going to hide behind her mom. And uh, Gwir is going to hide, grab the girl, and hide behind the horse. <laughs> and the, like her mom's gonna hide behind her daughter <laughs> no she's she's no she's trying to protect her daughter but her daughter already moved um mm -hmm. hardfrith uh is an old man and he is going to do his best to protect melisand yeah he's got an improvised both weapon going to die he missed uh, uh he uh, he has uh he literally takes his belt off and starts trying to whip that goblin with his belt. Hedera says, come on, let's get out of here. Halesa says, uh, okay, mom. Or okay, yeah, mom? Mom, yeah. 
uh, Isol bravely runs up to this goblin cutter, and uh, what? I mean, some uh, there. Uh, none of them are really behaving cowardly, but some of them are trying to protect others and pull them, together, pull them out, of, pull them out of combat. Well, three of them did. So she's going to try and yeah. take out this. Uh, the other one was up the top. Why don't they teach their children how to fight? I mean, some of these kids are, you know, seven, eight years old. This... I love They're, so good. Town folk. They're not uh, even armed. Don't they have any infants they can throw at these goblins? Somebody get these kids a knife. Uh, <laughs> this old woman just, uh, she, she, she loses her shit. Irresponsible. Uh, Melisant wants to try to kill this goblin cutter. She's being brave. The old man is is trying to desperately trying to protect her. So actually, she kills this goblin cutter. The, the peasants are doing better work than you guys are. You guys suck. That's just patently false. <laughs> yeah. Uh, here, Co, it's your turn again. All right. Not all <clears> the peasants <throat> get the, peasants don't get full actions every round. Some of them act on this round. Some of them act on the next round. So I can use a movement technique, and then I can charge, right? Sure. Okay. So then I'm going to do this open the gate <gasps> movement technique. Oh, open I don't know gate. how to... I don't know how, that one doesn't have a little movement button next to it. That's weird. Isn't that weird? Let me see. Open the gate. Open the, ga- open the gate of battle. Open the gate of battle. It doesn't have a it movement thing I, next to it because it doesn't have a... Oh, open the gate of battle movement technique. Sorry, hang on. Uh, nerd. You move your speed plus two during this movement. You don't provoke attackers for opportunities. Yeah, that's just a thing you can do. There's no power for it. Or there's a power for it, rather, but just... Just remember that, um... Seven. So that's eight. So then I'm gonna charge the rest of the distance and try to punch this goblin hex in the face. Yeah. Is that one, two, three, four. I'm gonna... I'm going to go right here. Uh, yeah. Uh, so I'm going to target her. Yep. And I I don't think I've ever made a weapon attack. It so should be I just sh- under your combat tab. Okay. Okay. Let's... I The club. I just click the club or drag the, the club. The D20 next to the attack that says base. And if you drag that, that'll be your, your to hit. And if you oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can pull the damage over. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah. You're definitely hit. Oh, yeah. So oh, she's prone, by the way, because she fell off the ledge. Oh, oh that makes me yeah. happy. So I'm like punching her on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Just beat her to death. All right. Well, oh, oh, does that mean? Ooh, let me think. Does that mean I also get to punch her again with my stone fist? I hit with an attack during my turn. That counts counts as an attack, right? Yeah, absolutely does. Yeah. You're a monk. All right, so oh, I punch yeah. her, and then I punch her oh, again. Yes. <laughs> He's oh, just yeah. beating the shit out of this old lady goblin. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Leave the horse alone. <laughs> <laughs> the horse is like... Sorry. The horse is like, yeah, <laughs> leave me alone. Ah, nah, 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 nah. Uh, cool. Yeah, the goblin hexer is, is actually... that the noise that horses make? Yeah. yeah. I... I've met horses, <laughs> haven't I? Horse. <laughs> I don't actually, yeah. I... You know <laughs> there we go. That's what horses make, right? Uh, it's the hexer's turn now. Oh, oh is it? Uh, Sweet. Well, mm-hmm. the hexer's going to stand up from prone. Uh, all right. And she definitely does not like Ko. And she would like Ko to fuck off. Area burst three. That sounds good to me. There we go. I think that is burst three. So she is going to target. It only works on enemies. She's going to target uh, Doot, Doot, Doot. Why not Doot and Doot? There we go. And you guys all take out. You guys are all surrounded by a, a swarm of mosquitoes descends from the sky and start pecking at you. And you notice these mosquitoes are little tiny like goblin mosquitoes. So I think that means this guy gets concealment because you guys have a hard time seeing him inside there. And I think that's the only one who's the only ally that's affected by that. Uh, so that is the goblin hexer's turn. It's Zoga. Zoga. 
Do I am I standing in front of like a swarm of yep, a cloud mosquitoes? Of, but let me make sure. I don't know if it if it, if it I think it persists. Um yeah, area all enemies within the zone take up the zone grants concealment. So so all all it does is grant concealment. When you walk into it, it, it people are harder to hit. That's all. It doesn't it doesn't provide only when she cast it does it give the minus 2 penalty. So the people, the people in there when she cast it were attacked by mosquitoes, um, and they have a minus two penalty to attack rolls. But now the mosquitoes are just hanging out, and they're hard, they're making it hard to see. So I'm going to sprint through the swarm of mosquitoes, uh, and come out next to this horse and like be furiously waving my hands in front of my face to clear the last of the mosquitoes. And then I grab my sword and I. Chop. I'm gonna move this course just because it's annoying me. <laughs> at the at the goblin hexer. What is this? Ooh, it was almost a two. Fuck off! Don't kill Bam. my goblin hexer. Do not kill my Bam. goblin hexer. Yeah. Goblin hexer is still alive. Do it. Still Ooh. alive. Just but here's the thing. I'm I'm like standing right in front of her face. Yeah. Like right in her face. Yeah. And I just like I I, I take my like index finger on my free hand and I just boop boop a right on our little gobliny nose. <laughs> so she she can make a uh she can make a um melee basic attack against me as a free action and has combat advantage. Well she's so gonna chooses. she's gonna fucking do that shit. <laughs> she's definitely gonna you booped her fucking nose, bro. <laughs> you don't fucking boop my my woman's nose uh, her bait so so for those of you watching at home uh monsters uh when they get a basic attack it's literally whatever their first attack is so that means she's gonna bash you with a rod she's got a gnarled stick that she shakes Naughty. when she chants <laughs> and uh she even with plus nine she misses you <laughs> i just do a little sidestep just easy. I've been I've been dodging shit all day. I just can do this just all a little day. like just a lean. Not even close. And uh, Ko gets to make an attack with advantage. A basic attack. A basic attack. Cool. So cl it's clobbering time, baby. I just got this keyboard. Ooh, you hit. Sweet. Nice. Ah. Yay! Minimum damage. <laughs> My goblin <laughs> lives. Yeah, but okay. My yeah. goblin lives. Well, this hex it did. <laughs> and I don't get to punch her this time, unfortunately. Uh, Zoga, are you done? I am done. This goblin warrior is going to try and fucking spear. Yep. Oh, it was going to no. happen sooner or oh, later. Oh, well, she's still alive. Oof. Let's see. What What do you want to do? He's going to charge could... Servanazor. Well. And he is going to use his battle axe. He hits. Damn it. And you are bloodied, Sir Benazor. No! Oh, come on. It's your turn. I and just want to go there. Right. So I'm out of the... Because I've got a feeling this uh, mosquito stuff's going to start doing something nasty. And so if you attack the know. goblin cutter right now, he has concealment, so you're going to get like minus two to hit. But if you attack the goblin, because he's in the cloud, but if you attack the goblin skull crusher, oh you, no, you I'm going after that. the skull. What's no, it? Fair enough. You might sure. want to, yeah, sure. Or you have, you also have cleave. Okay, cool. In that case, I'm going to cleave. <laughs> cleave him. Oh, oh was, it, was a crit. Oh. Unfortunately, ooh. it was uh, the crit. Was, ooh, ooh, something cool happens when you crit, bro. Uh, yeah, hang on, hang on. Rampage. So, uh, once per round, when you score a critical hit with barbarian attack power, you can immediately make a melee based attack as a free action. <laughs> you do not have to attack the same target that you scored your critical hit against. Haha. <laughs> so. Good, good, because you critted the goblin cutter, and that's. But so you're going But so that's but not really. Like Go damage ahead. first, I yeah. guess, right? Yep. Oh my god! Wow. Double ones. Nice. <laughs> you did yeah, you did super cool damage against the um against the goblin cutter. Uh, 
So he's you just uh, so you also just killed somebody. Don't forget. All right. Wait a minute. Cool. So zero so, hit points. So now I get plus two damage until the end of my next turn when I reduce an enemy to zero. So correct. And then I might be able to do my rule. Actually, I could probably do my rule of triumph as well. Yeah. Ooh, and that's that's well, good. Wait a minute. Yeah. It's crazy. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do that because that's a burst five, and that means I'll get the. Yeah, wait, I'll get him. I should get her. And five, you'll, you'll, yeah, you'll definitely get the Goblin Skull Cleaver and you'll definitely get the Hexer. But I think that might be think it. I'll get anyone else. But yeah. I, that, these two are the gits, so I'm going to do that <laughs> right now. Gets. So I hit that like that. Okay, Absolute cool. gits. I missed even with. Yeah, no. You rolled a five. No. Yeah, it's just not good enough. It's Orin's turn. Okay. Um, you're minus two while you're in that yeah. cloud, I think. What I'm going to do is go one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. The opportunity is dumb. And so gonna I'm going to go into. Advantage. I'm going to go and turn off your penalty. Go ahead. There you go. You're no longer minus two. I thought I had. Oh, you missed this goblin skirmisher. What? Sorry. Hang on a second. Go ahead, Aura. Go ahead, Orin. What? What do you He's, mean? When you when you miss a goblin, they get a free five foot step. And they he, shifty. Yeah, they're shifty. So <laughs> the thing that the goblin got, where he was able to move because he got missed, is was that a shift? Yep. Okay. In that case, I'm going to use a steel serpent strike on Ooh. him. So I do my strength versus DC first. Nice. So I grab hold of him. Do some damage. Yeah, you do. And he is now going to be slowed. It's the Skull Cleaver, right? Yep. yep. Look at that. Oh, and you can see you can see the little slowed. He's slowed and he's, yep. been, he's been roared at. And he can't shift now. That's cool. Yeah. Okay. And I think that's the... That was cool. Good job, check. Anna. That was fucking cool. That's... Lavellis. Hello. Um, okay, let me see. I would love to target uh, this guy over here, who's within 10 squares. Oh, I was hoping you guys um, would just let him wade through all these humans. <laughs> I mean, uh, I thought about it. Um, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and use Kinthelen's Retribution, um, which is That's the worst the kind of retribution. flashbang one. Nice. 14 is probably going to hit. All right. Yep. Hey. Kinthelen. Um, and now... Yeah, it's Kinthelen, but it's spelled with Kinthelen? D's because it's Kinthelen? Welsh. It's yeah, yeah. I think technically it's even uh, double D is the like yeah. Anyway, but that's that's not important. What's important is that I hit, and I'm happy about it. All <laughs> right. So, eh, damage. Oh, okay, great. Um, I do have a question. If I use my action point, can I do the same at willpower again? Yeah, sure. There's no limit, okay, There's great, no limit to what wanna... you can do with your action point as long as, you know, as long as you could do it do with it. a normal action, you can do it with the action point. Oh, yeah. yeah I just wanna, guess what? I just want to go like, boom, boom. Oh, I used my action point. <gasps> yeah. Uh, <laughs> so we're doing it again. <gasps> oh, oh wow, it's a 20. Yay. It's yeah. a 20. <laughs> Love to see it. And max damage, oh. and you bloody you bloody the goblin warrior. Describe describe what this thing is. What is Kendallin's retribution? Right, so it, it's the one that looks like sort of just a, a an intense like flashbang. But I imagine some sort of like smoking like phosphorus style, like as it builds up on itself, That's like cool. melty light on its armor. Awesome, that sounds cool. Melty light is that what you just said? Yeah, melty light. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Anyway, that's my turn. <laughs> okay, so she... Uh, I'm trying to remember where I left off because these guys already... These guys only get an action every other round. Um, Demelza, though, she gets to go every round because she's not a... Oh, she's not a wank. Um, <laughs> she will take um, her cue from the elf. And she right. will... Oh, this is a... This is a minor action. That's interesting. She says, she says, get away from that girl. And 
and she <laughs> fails abjectly. But that's okay, because that was just a minor action. So uh, she is going to use her uh, scintillating bolt and another, another bolt of uh, sunlight. Another shaft, another ray of sunlight strikes out. It actually, it, it, there are shafts of sunlight coming down through the tops of the trees anyway. So it's just that one of those shafts of sunlight suddenly glows brilliant white hot and does some radiant damage. And she kills yeah, this guy. Yeah, yay. Jesus. Oh, That's sweet. teamwork. Wow, nine damage. So, Ko, it's you. Mm. You're going to have a little penalty because <laughs> you're, uh, you're surrounded by... Um, Mm. Mis mosquitoes. Mm. Okay. I kind of want to try to flank her, and I know that that means that she's going to get an attack of opportunity on me. So why don't I do this minor action to, to do my s stone's endurance? And then I'm going to move here to flank her. Okay, so does, does she get an attack of opportunity against me? Probably. Uh... Huh, uh... Yes, she does. Wait, nice. does she not? Does she not have to be targeted? Doesn't matter. Uh, I'll do it manually. Whoop. Uh. Oh, damaged, resisted. Fuck off. <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> Suck my money. Sorry about that. Um, okay, so now that I'm on the other side of her, so Take it's the, still um, attack minus two off. Yeah, I was about to ask. Oh, I can do that. I, I don't know if you guys. I don't know if you guys can do that. Anna always has my back. Thank you, Anna. <laughs> All right. There you go. Uh, now I'd like to kick her in the face. Yeah, face kick. <laughs> the classic goblin right. face kick. The patented Zoga goblin face kick. Oh, yes. Zoga and co. Yeah, I bring my heel up and then wha-bam. <laughs> yep, you wa bam all right. Goblin Hex are Oh my god. You split her skull anyway. open. Your heel oh, is now covered in green goblin brain. I, yeah, I give it a I give a little jig to get the rest of that off, uh, and yeah. then I uh, and then I give Z Zoga a uh, determined nod. Give you a, a gesture that is the goal equivalent of just like a corny thumbs up. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I'm sure some of that like goblin goop got on me as well, which I'd be pretty I'd be pretty happy about. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I'm going to hold my breath again, <gasps> and, uh, all right, I am going to oh, hold my well, breath. we still have to fight all these humans. <laughs> <laughs> Man, these guys are tough. <laughs> I'll take William. <laughs> all right, so I um, hold my breath and sprint my way back through the uh, mojitos. Actually, they're probably gone, right, with the Hexer being dead? Yeah, oh, yeah good point. Yep, here we can. Uh, All right. I can remove this. Part. So I, I run up here, and as I as I go by Sir Vanazor, I uh, clap him on the shoulder and say something about, you know, well you, you know, for all that wailing that I heard, you don't look too, you don't look too bad. <laughs> Thanks. So you get a little heal. Oh no, no not a that. great one though, because it was a bit Thanks. of a, it was a bit of an underhanded, uh, <laughs> inspiring word. Get better. And then I'm just gonna. I slide to a halt in front of this goblin skull cleaver, having, you know, wearing the effects of a goblin skull being cleaved right in front of me. So I, I show up covered in goblin blood, and I say, special delivery, and then I hit him with my brash assault. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Uh -huh. All right, you so bloodied I, the goblin skirmisher. Or skull so I, I slice this dude, and then I... I, I stand open to uh, a counterattack with brash assault. Oh, he, 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 I'm going to have him roll a charisma, a willpower check to see if he can um, stop himself. Uh, wisdom. Yeah. Can that he resist? Can he resist? He resists. He's a warrior. No. He's a warrior. He resists. Sorry. It can't, it can't always, it can't always be. Yes, it can. No, it has, sometimes D &D. it's it's some no. Sometimes it goes. It's a fantasy. Listen, when he a did power when he booped the no, there was no rule for the boop because the boop was so oh so offensive to that goblin hexer. But <laughs> in this case, you know. All right, from now on, it's all open-handed slaps. Well, this uh, one's this one's a real a real fighter. Like having he's a warrior. Yeah. yeah, this guy he he's knows trained. better. He's trained. A little disciplined. Yeah, he's got the experience. <laughs> 
my uh, my taunts are not taunty enough. Ah, uh, so this goblin skull crusher is going to untarget Cervanazor and going to target Orin. And he's bloodied now, which is very interesting. I just want to mind my own business. What does he want? <laughs> Well, you slowed him, so he can't do what he wants to do, which is too bad because it would be very dramatic, and I think you guys would like it a lot. Of course, you realize that boop meant war. Um, <laughs> so, uh-huh, cool. So he's going to target you. I hope he hits. <gasps> oh, 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 wait, can you guys see that? You guys couldn't see that. Um, uh, uh, Attack 14 uh, versus but 18. we heard oh, it. Shut up. You can we heard see it. It. Oh, it, was almost, we know exactly. it was almost a 20. We know exactly <laughs> what it was. <laughs> Because he does, he does it, it, things. He he is super super nasty when he's bloodied. Uh, so he's done, I guess. That sucks. Oh, what a shame. That sucks. Uh, what do I get? Because I would definitely flank. fuck it. I would I would definitely have fudged that roll. Flanking plus two, right? Correct. Yep. Okay. Because I want I want I would want that guy to use this cool thing. Because he's gonna die otherwise. Uh, 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 I will use my howling strike here. Oh. Hit. Eighteen hits. Why is a goblin skull creature? Oh, minus T's minus two because you howled. How long does that fucking roar last? Oh, that I don't bullshit know. Bullshit, fucking check. that bullshit, fucking roar. <laughs> Until the uh, end of your next turn, so that's already gone off. I think. Okay. Well, actually, I think this is your next turn. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You you heard him badly. It, I yep. Oh wait, I damaged. What what I do? He's already he was already blooded, wasn't he? I believe he was. Okay. Then in that case, that's it. I'll just give him a good kick in. Finish him, Anna. <laughs> <laughs> Grab. So I'm gonna use my grappling strike against him. I already have him targeted. So that's cool. Grappling strike here. Reach out to take hold of him. And... Do I get it? Uh, it didn't say. Miss. Oh, you... no, it's not. It says miss. Hmm. I'll do something else. I think I want to use my action point. I'm use my action point, and I'm gonna yep. get another. Point. Oh yeah. Yep. Bloop. All right. So in that case, let's see. Oh, Finish him. So grab the strike, I guess. Let's see. One second. Actually, did you give yourself the bonus to flanking Anna when you did the grappling no, strike? No, I did not. No. Well, I didn't. You'll remember next time. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Yeah, you would have hit. Okay. <laughs> you would have. You would have hit. You I was hit. like, oh, it's completely <laughs> deflated. You would have hit. <laughs> In that case, fourteen. His AC is his AC is sixteen. You rolled six plus eight, and if you had added your plus two, you would have got it. Okay. Uh, All right. Sweet. So then I can go ahead and do the grappling strike stuff. Thanks, Matt. Hive indicator just saved your ass. Oh wait, this is the hit to hit. I don't need it. No, god damn it. Okay. Yeah, you hit. I definitely hit that time. Yep. Okay. Did you see the number that time, like you normally do? Yes, I did. Okay. Good. Okay. I'm dying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I believe that is the end of the goblins. Yep. Uh, All right, let's go. The people are super relieved. Uh, they cheer. I just want to say I used I used to to finish them off. I grabbed him and then I flipped him upside down and I did a pile driver. <laughs> wow. <laughs> He's like a WWE <laughs> character. Yeah. <laughs> Tombstone pole driver. <laughs> the the humans all want to rush you and like shake your hands and pat you on the back, and they're super um, uh, amazed at what you folks have done. They especially like Servanazor. like <sighs> they want they want his autograph. Um, as the uh, as the, the 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 some of the kids get this idea in their head and they start grabbing the goblin corpses and tossing them off the tree. Ah, uh, nice. And <laughs> so that, that becomes a, a happy pastime for the kids as they uh, work together <laughs> to clear the tree. Uh, Demelza comes oh, up and, and congratulates you and says, you risked your lives to save these folks. Uh, we're in your debt. 
the tales of the dragon knights were not exaggerated. Obviously, this is a dangerous place. So I think we've proven our, our merit. And we need you to come back with us back to town. You notice um, uh, now that the goblins are dead and that the people are, are, are the, the people's spirits have lifted. There are all these little the whole time you've been up there, there have been all these little tiny like um, motes of light that are like suspended in the air. Like you're watching the movie Legend by Ridley Scott. <laughs> and now that the goblins are dead, these moat, these moats start to like materialize into little fairies, little tiny fairies that are flying around. And they're each about as big as a butterfly. Can you see these things on the map? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. And there's just a there's there's way more of them than I could ever that I could ever populate. Mm -hmm. And they speak common. They have these little piping voices. And you can make out the, what they're saying quite clearly, especially the ones that are flittering near you. Uh, Servanazor, one of them flies up to you, and it's this beautifully formed, like, female elf with wings and wearing a, uh, a, like a shift, like a tiny little silk outfit. One of them says to you, oh, not in Goblin, though. Oh. <laughs> not in Goblin. Strike her down. One of the fairies... One of the fairies flies up to you and clasps her hands and, and says, oh, You are so brave and handsome. Uh, Savannah Sword just kind of like lifts, lifts his head back and looks extremely proud. Uh, one of the goblins flies up to Zoga. One of the goblins. Well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, no, we one thought the, we got the, them all. Sorry. There's more. Sorry. One of the fairies flitters up to Zoga. Oh, actually, not maybe not Go. Zoga. Probably Ko. Yeah, flitters up. Not Demelza. Sorry. One of the one of the one of the fairies flitters up to Ko, and says, uh, "It says surely you're the strongest and the bravest hero in the land." Let's see, one of these folks is going to come up to Zoga, fairy cobweb, and she has like a little cup of what looks like wine. And Zoga, she offers you the wine and says, you seem tired, my lord. Rest a while and have some mead. Do not drink the wine. <laughs> I'll, I'll like, I'll, I'll take the cup and like, just kind of like, give it a little, a little whiff. But so, I'm, I'm, like I'm not going to drink it right away. It smells like mead. Yeah. It smells like mead. Looks, looks like normal mead. Yeah. Savannah, Savannah still is looking over towards, yeah. uh, Zoga, like what? How can we go drink? <laughs> well, I'll, I'll give Vanazor a, a a wink, and actually, I'll 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 give him an inspiring word. I'll say I'll say cheers to your, you know. No, do not drink the wine. I don't know what's gonna happen, but I'm just saying, pretty standard practice. Please don't drink the wine. <laughs> you just never know. It's not it's not like for you. Don't take candy from strangers. <laughs> don't take candy from strangers, especially if they're fairies. That's the old rhyme that we all grew up with. <laughs> <The old rhyme. laughs> you guys actually have a hard time seeing Oren and Lavellus because they're surrounded by a swarm of these fairies and their voices are overlapping. It makes it difficult to hear what they're saying, but they seem to be just incredibly pleased that the elves have returned. Yeah, I, I think I think out of just sort of like, you know, a, we, we've just finished a, a, a combat and like, there's a bunch of just activity happening and stuff. I don't think that I would really be like keyed into what uh, oh, no. Lavellus is is saying, especially because I mean, like it might be fine. There's one other the fairies here and there. So one of the fairies I, flies up to you, Servanazor, and offers geez, you some mead. Go ahead. Please. I'm sorry, Zogar. I, 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 you know, kind of like gesture a, a little cheers to Servanazor and 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 have a just a little sip. Just a little sippy. Okay. <laughs> and I, I like lift my head into the air and kind of cheer, <laughs> victory cheer, hurrah! And just down mine. Awesome. Well, the good news is um, neither of you explicitly accepted any of the compliments. Uh, so you don't have a penalty to your saving throw. Stand by. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I am going to roll. I'm just, I'm leaving you guys here. You can live here in the forest now. So I'm just going to roll a d20. 
and see what happens. Then we get a bonus, certainly. Yep. Okay, so cool. Servanazor is now ensorcelled. Uh, Zoga. What? Let's see what Zoga. <laughs> Uh, oh, God. A bunch of so Zo. Oh, you're just kidding. Oh, that's too bad. All right, never mind. What did I get right there? I got a 14. And what is your? Uh, yeah, your will is. You guys' will is super low. So, <laughs> Zoga and Servanazor are uh, like completely entranced by the fairies. And just fascinated by them. And the fairies are fawning over them. And Zoga and Servanazor are like, you know, there's a lot of puffery going on. Oh, and so cute, you little fairy. Choices <laughs> uh. have been made. <laughs> I don't like that they're flanking me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're, uh, you're surrounded. What's up with that? <laughs> so if These this fairies is... are beautiful. <laughs> Why don't you drink some wine with them? Beautiful, oh, beautiful oh, but... fairies. <laughs> <laughs> They're unfortunately quite charming. Who knows upon what soil they fed their hungry, thirsty roots. So good. These fairies <laughs> are great, aren't they? <laughs> Cheering. You all live here now. You're never getting out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you, uh, Zoga and Servanazor suddenly feel like, uh, Maybe you don't need to go back to town. <laughs> you know, hang on. Like, no. like, uh, can I whisper to that? Yeah, that would be a good idea. Throw some cold water on their face. Yeah. <laughs> I come off into the water over the side. Uh, go ahead. Uh, both Lavellus and Oren can make a knowledge check. Lavellus can do it with advantage because she has dealt with the, or actually, yeah, with plus two because she's dealt with these things before. Or, or if, if not directly, she certainly is familiar with them. What skill would this be? Um, Say nature check? It's either nature or arcana, whichever you're better in. Right. Wow. Yeah. Nope. You don't know shit about this. You're like, yeah, there's, there's a way to... I'm distracted right now. There's a lot of fairies in my face. <laughs> They're so happy to see you. They want you to tell them what to do. They want to know, do you, do you require anything? Your garments are, your garments are uh, so beautifully uh, dabbled in, in blood. Would you like them to perhaps draw some more blood from these humans and pour some more tasteful, artful uh, wounds of blood on you? Oh, they want to, they want to, they want to, they want to like, um, you know, braid your hair. They want you to, and they, 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 <laughs> they want you to tell them what to do. Let us serve you. Let us serve you, lady. What is your command? Let me think about it while you talk to Oren about what they rolled. Oh, yeah. Did I, did I roll well? Uh, no, you guys got it. You guys got it. We both it, sucked. You both, oh, neither no. of you, neither of you beat the, uh, uh, let's say the average. And this is actually some deep, this is deep elf bullshit. Oh no! Oh no! I mean, oh, you no. as players might be able to might be able to draw upon your lore, your your you know, yeah, things you know in the real world about the history and things of elves and whatnot. But um, your characters, you know that there's a way to break this charm, but you're not sure off the top of your head how to do it. And then suddenly, the elves all kind of go, <laughs> and they turn back into little motes of light. Like <laughs> they look really startled all of a sudden. They all freeze. Right? They all look to the west and then they go and turn into little motes of light. Does Vanazor or Zoga look or act any different? I mean, let me I, let me make sure. Hang on a second. Um, I wish I could copy this. <laughs> I'm just so torn because I feel like the fairies are the only ones here, like tending this tree. Here, just <laughs> I, I'm gonna say, there you go, Sir Vanazor. That is what you think now. I'm just having what off crises. <laughs> Got it. So apart from that, Zoga and uh, Zoga and Servanazor, you are you are free to think and act the way you want. You're just predispos you have a predisposition to like these fairies, and you now have certain kind of feelings. And it seems perfectly rational and logical to you now. Obviously, it's obvious. All you right. hear a, <laughs> you hear a sound. Oh, uh, what's the sound? You hear a sound like um. Actually, you hear what sounds like a, like, um, what's the best illustration of this? 
Imagine that you were in, remember, Anna, do you remember the video that uh, OD shared of yesterday morning when he was at the pub celebrating the, uh, <laughs> celebrating yeah. the win of his team? It, it uh, kind of sounds like that. Just like <laughs> screaming and just like, like, like yeah, 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 and you're like, what the fuck? Come on, you again. Um, oh, God. I love this place. Um, I love you. You know, dude, I love you, dude. <laughs> we could stay forever. All right. we, I mean, we could. We got everything we need here, right? Like Everything. Something. Yeah, the go the, the goblins are gone, man. Well, it's funny that you say that because the chanting that you're hearing, the kind of like uh, football hooligan chanting that you're hearing, suddenly gets abruptly louder. And you see something climb up over the side of the tree trunk. Oh, my goodness me. Come on. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. And here's what it looks like from the side. <laughs> mm. right. You know, it's That's funny. Cool. I, don't, I don't think I needed to see it from the side. And yet I, I now I do. <laughs> right. Oh, dear. That's a few goblins riding an armored spider. Great. Where, mm. where up oh. the side? Oh, over there. I see it. Okay. Oh, it's here. Bushy. <laughs> <laughs> ah, we're still safe. There's like a bunch of goblins riding on this thing, and they're all like, yeah, get him, yeah, woo! And yeah. Uh, the spider is uh, this horrible, awful, and they've got, by the way, they've got a standard that they've got flying. And it's uh, initiative. We should have used those fairies to herd the humans out of the tree. I don't know. Do you think the humans also are kind of like bound? The, uh, um, you know. You you didn't see any of the humans. The humans. None of the humans took any of the any of the presents from the. Like the kids want to, but their parents tell them not to. And Demelza oh. keeps an eye out for them. Oh. I can't oh. believe these agricultural peasants have better fairy wisdom than Zoga, who lives like <laughs> just in the other part of the forest. Zoga's never seen fairies like this before. I've seen fairies before, dude. They offer me a little, a little wine, a little post-combat wine. Oh I like to apply I mean, before a this. healing surge. Yeah, you guys, you guys, you guys can spend all the healing surges you want during that, right. during that rest. Okay, you guys are gonna fight a giant spider. I didn't want to go first. Okay. Um, <laughs> well, you can delay your act. You can hold delay or whatever. But uh, yeah, I delay my hold turn and just my standard action. You can you can you can wait and just reset your initiative to a lower value. Co is waiting, so go ahead and click done. Co. Yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah, I'll wait because I because I want them to get closer. Zoka. Co seems oh. uh you know happy to wait. And I see the, how tall is this little precipice that I'm near? Like it's about 10 feet there, off the ground. Okay. So is there any way, like we, we all see this thing coming, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, well, I'm still kind of, kind of jacked up from the last combat. I've just got a fresh shot of fairy juice in me. So to war, <laughs> there we go. Okay, so I'm I'm gonna hang out here and just like ready an attack if it if it gets close enough to me. Sure, sounds good to me. Okay, Orin, it's you. Hmm. Your your teammates seem to be playing very cautiously. Well, that's a big fucking spider. So, is the spider one size category larger than I am? Uh, I think it's two size. Ca it's gargantuan, so it's oh, bigger than large, and I think bigger than huge. So I think it's two size categories bigger than you. Uh, Always what you want to hear. You want to hear, this spider is gargantuan. It's bigger than huge. <laughs> it's bigger than huge. <laughs> how many gobbos are on top of it? Actually, I guess, how many goblins are there in general that we can see? Uh, there are eight goblins on the... There are nine goblins on the spider, including the goblin hexer. I just want to like teleport on top of the spider and like legless this shit and just kick them all off and then do like an animal handling check. And it's my spider now. I'm going to go ahead and use my slingshot at the hexer and see if I can whack them. 
Please. You hit. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> You're literally using a sling. Uh huh. Yes! Hey, I, damn. Yeah, max damage. Fuck yeah. The rock sails out over the tree stump and smacks the goblin hexer in the side of the head and it goes bah! The goblin hexer atop the um, spider will target Orin and summon the uh, tiny goblin mosquitoes. But this time, instead of an area, you are surrounded by a cloud of little tiny goblin mosquitoes but they're not doing anything yet but they do seem oh to be like blocking your movement somewhat like moving through them might be kind of shitty you do have a status but i don't know how to apply it exactly because it's really unusual so at the end of your turn you, and in your turn you can save to see if you can make it out of this cloud without without uh taking any damage okay. but otherwise what happens what what the effect of this cloud is you don't know Right, they're just they're just swarming around you right now. And now the goblin mounted doom spinner spider goes. Oh my god! Oh, that did not move in the direction I wanted it to. It did not move in the direction any of us expected. I guess I'll go next. <laughs> uh, oh, you want to go now? Well, actually, you uh, you were delaying. You're gonna have to go after the spider. Zoga has yeah, a, yeah, Zoga has a ready to action. It just runs up to this little girl, this young lady. And tries to tries to bite her with its giant mandibles, and it hits, and it doesn't. She's having a real bad day. And it kills her. She's dead. Very oh. bad. Yikes! The goblin hexer kind of goes like, bite it, you, and all of the little goblins, like on three, all shoot. They see like a swarm of short bow arrows go flying off the goblin, and uh, go flying off the spider. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Jesus. Jesus. Whoa! Just gobbling him up. Yikes. Oh Holy my god. Holy hell. Happily, that does not kill anybody. Demelza is like she starts shouting and she's like what's wrong with you people attack and she means you guys not the heroes one two three is it Coast turn now or five, are we doing six. demelza first oh sorry go ahead go that was uh, something right there all of that that was uh really interesting the goblins have a huge morale bonus right now because they're they're riding on this awesome fucking spider and they just all hit. I gotta close this distance, so I'm gonna do my uh, open the gate of battle movement technique, which is gonna give me plus two to my move. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. That's just using your standard okay. action to move. Then I'll do that. Let's see. One, two. Three, four, five, six, and then if I if I do my action point, I'm gonna risk it because we tell epic stories here, right? Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> let's do it. I'm gonna I'm gonna do my yes. stinging manticore. Stinging manticore. Me... That sounds so, fucking so cool. Be... Shit. Yes. What does that do? Let me see. Whoa, that's your daily. Uh, that's your fucking daily, dude. Yeah, I know. Like you I shift said. your speed and can make the following attack once against each enemy that you move adjacent to during the shift. Target one enemy, attack dex versus reflex. That's good because, I mean, their reflex, goblins have higher than average reflex, but it should be way lower than their AC. And then if you hit, it's 2d6 dex mod. And you even if you miss, you do half damage. Holy fuck. Actually, um, minions do not take damage on a miss. So even though it says miss for half damage, that minions get to ignore that rule. I'm not going to miss. But otherwise, yes. That would all work. You go ahead and make your athletics check. Nice, yeah, you make nice. it no problem. Oh, yeah. You make it. Are you kidding? 29. You make it. So that's the back right. of the spider. Now you guys can Now you guys can target that, right? Um, and everything else. Just ignore the range because the range is really the spider, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, cool. So I should target 
all of them, right? Because I'll be adjacent to all of them at some point during this movement. I would say you can move adjacent to any of them except the hexer in the middle. Okay. Because she's, and, and she's, guarded, by, she's guarded by all the other uh, goblins. Okay, so I'm going to target all of them and the spider if that's okay. Uh, yeah, that's certainly fine. You're climbing on the spider. Okay, how do I... Let's see, how do I target them? You should just be able to like shift click them, I think. It's shift or it's control. Oh, oh it's I shift see. Or control. control. Six, seven, yeah. eight, five. I see there now. I see them. Four, three, two, one, and the spider. I think I have everybody now. Actually, where did the combat track yeah. go? Let me see. Um, where is where is Co? Yeah, you have a shitload of dudes talking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So I'm going to my attack i think i feel like i have everything done <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> wow you hit some and you missed some others wow yeah you just you just smoked Ooh, cool. a bunch of these guys oh man that was awesome oh boy so wait Co, and then, what did that and then while like? i'm up there i just yell just let out this big rah, and then I'm going to use my minor action to coat my skin in stone. Cool. Whoa, cool. So should I put me on this spider like this? Uh, that, that's fine. Yeah, sure. Yes. It might make it difficult for people to target the spider, but probably not. Okay. Uh, it's Demelza. That's my turn. Demelza is going to try and do something. That's good. She is going to target the, did I just do that? Or did I fail to do that? Why didn't that work? Okay. I guess I don't have her selected. There we go. She is going to use a probably scintillating bolt, I guess, which is what she did before. Let's see if this works. Yep, that hits. She does some radiant damage. And the target is dazed, which means she can only... That doesn't really affect her that much because she can only move or attack. And she doesn't need to move because she's got the spider. <clears throat> By her getting attacked, is her spell that's on me, is that like a concentration thing? I don't... I don't. Um, no, I don't think there is concentration with any of these abilities. When you're When you're affected by something, it's you that saves against it, not them. There's no, there's no fifth edition disrupting of ongoing effects. Oh. Okay. If you kill her, it'll probably go away. Lavellis. Yeah, oh, that's me. Hi. Bing. All right. Okay. Let me see. So, um, mm, 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 mm. I gotta zoom out a little bit, but it should be fine. Pew pew pew. Three, four, five, six. Okay. <laughs> Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, great. They're in range. Excellent. Let me target. Um, oh, it won't let me target. Wait. Am I not? Oh, there we go. I wasn't clicked on myself. Um, all right. I'm going to use Thunder of the Summer King um, for the first time ever on just one target. Wow. Because I get extra damage if I hit. So, I mean, Ooh. fingers crossed that the... Hex Hurler has low fortitude. Uh. Oh, oh, 20. oh, it's a 20! Yes. It's a 20! Uh, nicely done. And you get the um. extra damage? Oh, yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. And dazed. <laughs> oh, cool. I don't know what this one looks like, um, because this is the one where I literally am just like, I... I just thought the name was cool. Um, so I don't know. A previous when I, previously when I was hitting multiple targets, I was like, it's like a ripple, like a shockwave of sound through the air. But this time, I don't know. Maybe it actually is lightning this time. Maybe it's just like crack a cow, like a that strikes them specifically. That sounds good to me. Yeah, like a bolt of lightning. Does it come mm. from the sky or does it come from you, or does it explode in front I of them? It comes from the sky. I think it comes me. from the sky. Cool. Yeah. I uh, use my rage, my daily power. Mm -hmm. Does it just last until the end of the encounter? Day? Until the end, end of, of the, the encounter. encounter. Yep. 
I think I'm going to use it because then that means I've got it all the time, right? So, uh, do I put a little the effect on me? Would that be how it works? Well, that's an action, though, right? Uh... Rage Derek Frenzy. It's an attack. All oh, right. Okay. In that case, mm, I kind of can get to the spider from here. If I jump off this ledge, this ledge is ten feet. What's yep. Savannah's or seven feet? He you're still gonna have to make that, a. Right? You're still gonna have to make a, 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 a skill check, acrobatics I or think athletics. That's the only way I can get to the spider to being like up to it to be able to attack. Well, uh, and that would you that... would probably have to charge to do that too because it's far away. Uh, yeah, I think so. That and one's... you're not gonna be able to use your rage drake frenzy in as a part of the charge. Okay. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven. I could, yeah. If I say that's a movement, well, yeah, because you also you also get plus two movement when you charge. So yeah. you get you get six and then six and then two. So you so get fourteen I can make squares. It. I can make it. Yep. But are you making me do a athletics check for the jump? Yeah, absolutely. No, I'm not making you do it. You're doing it. Okay. Well, let's, you're the one that said to fucking yolo your ass off a cliff. <laughs> let's see if you can. Let's see if you can make it. Athletics. Uh, oh, I get a plus five to that. Oh yeah, 17? no problem. Yeah. All right, cool. All right. Yeah, it's, it's not it's not super difficult. You just gotta not don't well, like don't fuck it up, and you didn't fuck it up. Okay, yeah. so I'm in front of this <laughs> guy, uh, but I can't use my daily packs. I charge, so I'll have to use my. Uh, I can't I can't reach the hexer, can I? So I'm just gonna have to lay into the spider. Correct. Um, with my howling strike. Let me talk <laughs> him. <laughs> I mean, the only reason Ko was able to do what he did and not get completely fucking smashed was that he had the ability that let him gain that movement without provoking attacks of opportunity. Gotcha. So even if you had the movement to climb up there and you made a check, the spider and the goblins would all get to attack you when you did it. Okay. When charging. Okay. Uh, that's the right one. Boom. 16. That's going to hit. Do some damage. Yeah. 14 damage. Stay as wounded. Yep. Ah, I don't get anything for a wound. That would be the end of my go. That's tr that assumes that you don't want to use your action point to go into a frenzy. Oh, good point. Sorry. Can you knock me back one? Yes. Yeah, so I will do exactly that. I'll use my action point. Uh, and what, what do I do? Just put the effect on me? You attack. It's an attack. Oh, right. It's an Shit. attack. Rage Drake Frenzy is an attack. I'm still targeting a spider. Come on, let's have this a good one. Oh, you critted! Oh, it's so yeah. beautiful! Dude, you it's just... so beautiful! You critted with your daily power. You critted with a three-weapon attack. Fuck. Dude. Rawr! So, okay. You so, hear Zoga call out knight. your name. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I think I did something wrong. Here, let me go in there and kill that effect on you. Um, I get that effect. Wait. Oh, is it... Mm, oh, because you no, critted, right? Yeah. So, oh, you get two I, attacks. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Uh, the crit yeah. gives me a melee attack at the end of this. Sorry. Holy shit! Yeah, your rampage, do, your rampage gets you. Yep, yeah, gets you another free attack. Damage first. This is crazy. Yes. Wow. Whoa. Holy shit! Whoa. Wow. That oh my is God. Huge. <laughs> you did fifty oh damage. Amazing. Oh. I forgot. By the way, you have a high you have a high crit weapon, which means you got to add another extra D twelve on top of that. So that's yeah. what high crit is. High crit is you do you do extra damage on a critical. It's just another die. That die is not maximized though. Yeah. Uh, and by the way, that does not bloody it. But one second, one second. So I get a free melee attack as well because I I did roll a crit. Right? Uh, so, yes, correct. So let's do that as well. Will this have been the first time that any of our characters have seen like a Dragon Knight fully like in action, oh, like absolutely. pinnacle? Oh. No, unfortunately. That's all right. And... You did so good. And I believe 
Yeah. Yeah, I've probably done everything I can there because you said it didn't bloody, right? No. Wow. No, 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 no. No, no. But you do see Sir Vanazor, like, YOLO himself off that cliff, charge toward this thing with his great two-handed weapon, cleave into this giant spider's shiny black chitinous exoskeleton and shatter it. So now there's this huge gaping wound in the side of the spider. The spider has, it's rocked by the blow of Sir Vanazor and a couple of the goblins like, they are they're knocked on their butt and they have to stand up again. All right, I've done my melee. Yeah, Narrative, narratively, it. not literally. There we that go. Awesome. Rawr. And now you're raging. By the way, that's your right yes. now. Your daily power is the only way you can rage. And you've got some other crazy shit that has I don't know what it is. Like when you're raging, I think it's maybe pressing strike. If you're raging, okay. pressing strike does an extra d6 damage. Whoa. So, Doing it better. Oh, All right. Jesus Christ. Um, the humans panic. Why? We're doing quite well. Yeah. Just they're, they're, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The humans stand slack jawed in awe of the might of the dragon knight. Perfect. That's what's up. This is a fucking legendary. This is a yeah, legendary. The ones up on the mezzanine all applaud. That they are um, around. Happily, you guys haven't killed. The, the guys have only lost one NPC. God damn, there's a lot of these motherfuckers. Anyway. Uh, Zoga. All right. Well, you better believe that I got to try and Top at that. least match that. 50 yep. damage. <laughs> this has been pretty, damage. This is pretty dope so far. Like, if you guys right. beat this thing, it will be in no small part because of that single attack from the Dragon yeah. Knight. Like that's got to be at least an entire round. That's got to be an entire round of you guys beating on this thing. Otherwise, the OD just accelerated. Anyway, sorry. Go ahead. All right, so I'm going to use my movement to get here and then charge. Yeah, I just like run at it, screaming, "Vanessa!" And I just, (laughs) and I, and then I whiff. (laughs) Um, Oh. The spider but. is very, the spider is, uh, it's very nimble. It's got so many legs and it kind of like, as you approach, as you swing, it, you would have hit, but it dances around a little bit. And now instead of the leg you were aiming at, there's just empty air. All right. So I'm using my action point, Uh-oh. obviously. Um, and then I'm going to, it's time to, uh, although this is my, my daily power is called lead by example, but this, I think in this instance is, uh, follow by example <laughs> after mm-hmm. what these guys did. Oh, oh, automatic oh. miss. That hurt. Man, that was rough. That sucks. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. That so I was still off balance from my first swing. And so the second one. Just like I'm, I'm so in awe of what like Co and Vanazor just did that like I just run up there and like take these two flailing shots and and miss. But like I'm like so just jacked, like so stoked about about like just this whole combat situation that uh, both Co and Sir Vanazor are inspired to make uh, free attacks. Yeah, Co, if you want to, we can put you on the little you know tray. Uh, yeah, I'd like to, uh, shift here. Mm -hmm. No problem. That's your movement. And then, uh, yeah, so I get a basic attack. That means I can't use a power, correct? Wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're doing, you're doing your thing, correct? Yeah, doing the thing. You're doing the thing Um, from Zoga Borhart. Let me make sure. How do I get rid of all target? Never mind. I remember. Boop. Yeah, there's actually at the top of the map somewhere you guys should have like uh, there's a selection mode or something. There's a way to, there's yeah. a way to tar- there, there's buttons for clear my targets. Your turn, Sir Venazor. Uh, okay. Um, sorry. So it's a, a, just a free attack of my choice. Yep. yep. It's a, it's a oh, cool, base. Man. It's a basic attack. Pressing. No, nope. it's a basic kidding. attack. Nope. It's a basic, uh, attack. basic attack. It's just sorry. a normal weapon, normal weapon attack. Okay. Which, which uses your attack. combat tab probably. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do I still have the... Yeah, I still got it. Target. Whoa, nice. Uh, 
Ooh. 18 to hit. Cool. Let's do some damage. Ah, oh, bum. Well, it's still oh, seven wait. damage. Wait a minute. Is it? No, it's still not. Mm. Yeah, it's still not bloodied. Hey, okay. It's All a right. it's a I... giant spider. Fifty damage, Colville. I know. I know. <laughs> I know. But it's a giant oh. spider. It's gargantuan. Uh, it's a gargantuan spider. Okay. So basically what it is, is because like I can move six squares. Like uh -huh. that's my speed. Yep. So it's like I, I could go one, two, three, four, five. Yep. And then at this point I start jumping. Oh, God. You just got to make an athletics check and beat a 15. Mind you, what's your athletics bonus? It's plus nine. Are you oh. kidding me? Get over there. You, only have, to roll a, you only have to roll a six? <laughs> That's and you're dithering, huge. you're dithering on a worried. six? You I'm should worried. be worried. It's <laughs> risky. But are you a hero or are you uh, a mouse? Fuck. All right. Fine. Fine. Yes! yes! You yes! rolled a fucking 20. <laughs> wow. I jump on top of You could have rolled that 10 minutes 20. ago. I'm literally <laughs> standing on top of the hex blade's head, the, he the hexer's head. <laughs> Really? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, go ahead and put yourself on the inset, the cutaway, where you want to be. Oh, right. Which right, I believe you right. want to be next to Ko. Well, I jumped real far, so I'm going to put myself right here. And then I'm going to target the spider. So I'm right here, which means what I'm going to do is... So let me cleave this little guy. Miss! Oh my god! <laughs> Might have been a little off balance after landing up there. <laughs> Motherfucker. Actually, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. You, you uh, don't tell me to hang on a minute. You hang on a minute. Where's the. Uh... Hang on a minute. Uh. Oh, Oren, that's right. Stand by. Something cool happens to you. Oh my fucking oh, no. god. Oh that's my right. god. That's right. It's the the fucking <laughs> What is it? So now this um crazy fucking cloud of uh spider. Now the, the the so when you take off, when you when you run from your position, you run through this cloud of little tiny goblin mosquitoes that the goblin hex hurler, the stinging hex that the goblin hex hurler summoned, and you take. What is that? You that take, was that was multiple dice, and you I take don't like 15 it. Fifteen damage. Fifteen damage. Whoa. Oh, by the way, wounded. Matt's muted again. Oh, by the way, uh, the, the the mosquitoes move with you. So you get you, you got to save at the end of your turn. Okay, I did fifteen damage. They rolled really it's well, by the way. My... On the bright side, not quite bloodied. They rolled they rolled do exceptionally know, high. Do I know what it's a, like? What my hmm? what it's against? It's just it's just a saving throw. In fourth edition, saving throws just roll a d roll a d twenty and and beat a ten. Ten or higher. Nope. No. You try to you try to, you know, wave the mosquitoes off, but you are ineffective. They, you're just so delicious, Orin. They love the taste of elf flesh. Oh, it's the goblin hex hurler. So the first thing the goblin hex hurler is going to do is see if um, the stinging hex that it used on you recharges. It does not. So <sighs> now the question is, is there anything cool it can do? Yes. It is going to try and... Um, it's going to try and blinding hex co... So, Ko, more more deadly mosquitoes show up, and and try to and try to uh, bite your eyeballs and crawl into your ear holes. So, I think you get an attack of opportunity, Anna, because it, it was using a ranged attack, and there was somebody adjacent. Go ahead and go ahead and try to smack her. How in the world do I not know how to find attack of opportunity? I feel like I've looked at this like so often. 
I wouldn't bother. Just do it. Just uh, just attack, okay. Anna. Don't bother. Okay. It'd be nice if you could put clear all targets on one of the one of the hotkeys. You hit. A hit. Yes. Oh, oh shit. yes. A very palpable hit. That's handy. <laughs> Yay. That's so, what's up. Unfortunately, I think that means... Well, I think the, uh, the old giant spider will probably miss a turn here. Are the Skeeters off me? Yeah. Um... Matt's muted again. Oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> Actually, I don't think you... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, your, the mosquitoes you have to worry about. Um, Yay! But Ko, I think the attack of opportunity would interrupt her spellcasting. So I believe... How did you not take any damage, Ko? Oh, she only did four damage. Uh, because That's my high. skin was stone coated skin. in stone. Yeah, I, I know I, that. I, that I knew. I just, I just assumed that she did more than five damage. I was wrong. So yeah, you. Were I'm not... also shirtless, by the way. He tore off his shirt when he oh, jumped on the spider. That's cool. I didn't know you wore a shirt. Awesome. <laughs> and he wears a nice, tight-fitting tunic. Nice, cool. <laughs> yeah. It's called fashion. Yeah. Because otherwise, yeah. otherwise, what would you the rip? Big open what would you rip when you when, gonna... you when you leap like that? What would you you know? Yeah. You can't leap with the shirt. And he has a really, really hairy chest. <laughs> My goblin mounted doom spider is going to target Cervanazor and Zoga. Cool, 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 cool. Nope. Oh, oh bum. <laughs> so who did I hit? Yeah, I hit Cervanazor. Cool. You are yeah. you are covered in thick, uh, ropey webs. Oh yes. And then the goblin-mounted doom spinner spider uses its action point to bite you, Sir Vanazor. Uh -huh. No. Uh -huh. Oh. It hits you. And you take minimum damage, but you now uh, are poisoned. And because you're Ooh. immobilized, you are going to take not five damage per round, but 10 damage per round. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, hmm. And this goblin... Uh, let's see, which goblin are you? You're goblin number four. Cool. Is it going to target this guy? Yep. Sweet. And going to short sword you? Ko? Mm, that's a hit, and you can have four damage. And you re you resist that. <gasps> and then this goblin mm -hmm. sniper is going to attack Orin with his short sword. And uh, hit for four damage. Owie. And then this goblin sniper is going to attack the same person and miss. And I believe that's it for all of my guys. And it's Ko. All right. So I have to shift, I believe, correct? To avoid provoking an attempt on opportunity from this one on my right? Correct. You okay, so your... I'm... I'm going to use my five storms movement technique, which is cool. I shift two squares. Nice. So I'm going to shift right in the middle. I'm going to do my five storms attack technique. Just FYI, he, you did not need to use that special ability. Everybody can shift one square as their movement. I I use it anyway because it no looks problem. really cool when yeah, I yeah, do yeah. it. I just didn't want I just didn't want you to feel like you had to be locked in to one technique to get that bonus. Go ahead. All right, and, and now I'm going to do my five storms attack technique, which is uh, basically me just swinging my club above my head helicopter mode. Uh, but when I bring it down, I'm going to bring it down onto the spider. Oh, wow. Okay, cool. So it's a, so it's a one square burst. Does that mean I can, I mean, this, can I still attack the spider? I mean. I'm like on it, right? This is your five storms attack technique. Yeah, you can, I don't see why not. Um, it's each enemy you can see in burst. So that's all of them. That's definitely the spider. The spider you're standing on is definitely within one of you. Yes. 
All right. I see a one and a two. Not my best rolls. Goblin sniper hit. Goblin sniper hit. Uh, goblin mounted doom spinner spider miss. Mm. Yay. Yeah. Okay. Those first well, two there's, there's a good news blow. about that. There's there's a good news. I can. Oh shoot! Why didn't it? Goblin spider oh, four I is dead. Them. Goblin spider six is dead. Or goblin sniper six is dead. So there's only one well, little the, goblin sniper left. The best part about this is spider I writer goblin get, spider. I still get to do this stones fist for flurry of blows. Yep. Uh, and since he's the last one, I just want to go like straight straight palmed hand and just through the chest wow you cave his chest in you now you feel the beating pulsing heart of the goblin as it as it freezes and the goblin dies and its corpse is hanging off your hand whisper like the only word i know in goblin which would be like taking a high school spanish class and i'm just like pantalones or something as I pull <laughs> out my hair <laughs> la biblioteca <laughs> 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 fucking co co is you guys are doing great i mean most of you are doing great um i guess demelza does Melza have anybody targeted uh no oh well, she probably did and they died uh she has a lot of yeah, cool she... things she can do but a lot of them are situational so yeah she'll just scintillating bolt she'll just scintillating bolt this goblin The or the, the, the goblin mounted spider. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, and the target is dazed, which is not Ooh. that big a deal, but you never know. So now, atop of the spider are Orin and Co. They're the uh, they're and they're surrounded by a bunch of dead goblin bodies, but the spider is still alive and pissed off. Lavellus. Hello. Um, okay, now let me see what the range on this is. Again, really quick, 10. I think that's fine. Cool, because I am going to target the spider. I'm not clicked on me again. There we go. Target the spider. And I'm going to use Condellan's Retribution again, which I believe gets a little bit of a boosty because Orin is bloodied. So let's hope cool. that I hit. All right. Why did I get advantage on that? I don't know what just happened. You rolled two just dice. Rolled two. Yeah, but I I only clicked it once. I what don't... was what were you using again? You were using the retribution. Uh, Condellan's retribution. Yeah, and I clicked it once and it rolled two dice, and I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, that's a good question. I don't know. I don't, that that was odd. The first one was uh, the first one you rolled. Actually, let's ignore both of them. Ignore and both just, of them. Yeah, just try just, it again. And just re-roll. Yeah, make make, make <laughs> all right. Roll once. <laughs> <'Cause>, <laughs> Eh. Yay! Okay. Well, you missed. That's very upsetting. <laughs> Yay, my goblin spider lives. Yay. Um, wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna call on Dernwin's guidance <laughs> to at least try again. <laughs> no, no, you're gonna roll four. You're gonna roll four, 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 four. Hang on, hang on. Wait, is that an action point? No. Okay, uh, well <laughs> Yay, my goblin. Doesn't make lives. much of a difference anyway. No, it's an elf ability to reroll. <laughs> Ah. Whatever. Whatever. It's not like I even care. I don't even care. It's fine. <laughs> it's Cervanazor. Well, mm, I'm restrained. Correct. It means, uh, correct. It means you can't move. And it gets, you get a save at the end of your turn, though. Uh, but I could attack. Can I still attack even though I'm restrained? Yes. Okay. I want to make sure I've got my rage. Also, I think you just took seven. I, I think you just took ten damage, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, okay, good. Yes, I did. <laughs> yep. In fact, uh, you just it you, that poison just blooded you. Okay. You can feel your. It feels like your blood is on fire as it pulses through your entire body. Is like it's like one giant bruise. Uh, okay. Do I have my rage stuff on me though? Like the effects of that? Maybe not. I don't know. Well, the, what is the like, rage? What does your rage do for you? Uh, Until the rage ends once per round, if you reduce an enemy to zero hit points, you get a free melee attack. So the only other thing that is rage bu buffed is pressing strike. Pressing strike um, does uh, extra d6 damage. 
going to have to do that then. Right. But Howling Strike, to... Howling Strike is already... Howling Strike is already pretty good. Howling Strike has already got a bonus D6 built into it. Yeah. Uh, D6 uh, plus strength modifier damage. So I guess they're both fairly... When charging. Yeah. Mm. I think they're both roughly the same then, yeah. aren't they? Yeah. Basically, yeah. Let's do pressing strike then. Okay. Uh, are we targeted? Two rounds yes. until Lord Venazor drops from the poison. Oh, God. Uh... Oh, that's, oh, that's a miss. That's a miss. Uh, Don't let him know that you care. Mike. <laughs> <laughs> I've not got an action point. He, uh, she doesn't mean the spider. She means me. Don't let Matt Colville know that you care. <laughs> oh, next, uh, I should have done that earlier. Maybe I'll do that next round. What's what? that? What was that? What, what did you the, just do? What the crap? I don't know oh. why it... Uh, I wrote that. Was that me? Sorry. Ignore that. That no, was me. No, <laughs> that was what my bad. Was, do, does anybody remember? Maybe somebody in chat knows. What's? How do I make it? I read that I can drag this back onto the spider. And if I hold down the right modifier key, like shift or control or alt or something, it will reverse whatever that was. It'll go from being damage to healing or healing to damage. And that's the easiest way for me to do the math on this. But I don't remember what it was. And the last time I tried it, it didn't work. I'm going to wait to see if chat has an answer because I'm sure there are some Fantasy Grounds power users in here. I actually so I, got... I actually put this in chat too, like weeks and weeks ago. I said, oh, by the way, it was, uh, okay, fair enough. I just, I'll just talk uh, I get two saves, I guess, right? I got the restrained save and then the poison save, yeah? Correct. All right, so I guess I'm doing that now. So it's just the D20, right? Yep. So let's say this is my restrained. Yep. You are still restrained. Okay, then let's say this is my poison. Yep. Ooh, hey, ten. your poison ends. Oof. Ooh, that's good. Yay. And... Yeah, no, I know I can right click. And what my question was, I know there's a way to just drag the result on there. And if I'm holding down the right modifier key, it will invert whatever I did. It'll take damage and turn Why aren't into... the poorlies lending a hand, huh? Because they're terrified of the giant spider. Because they're terrified of the giant spider. Okay, Zoga. Oh, yeah. Do something cool. I'm going to do something cool. I've still got the goblin mounted doom spinner spider. Uh, ba, 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 ba. I thought I tried control before and it didn't work, but I'll try it again. Yeah, you hit. Yeah. hit. Woo! Woo Yay! Wow, you have bloodied. Boom. Bloodied. Got it at last. Yes. Now, and yes. Guess what? Oh, that's a good question. Bam! Uh. Yes. Furious assault. Every little bit helps. Uh, and hang on, hang on, hang on. So I get I get a standard action, a free action, and then can I also do a minor action? I don't know what. I, uh, yeah, sure. I don't know. Yeah, free assault. Free or assault is free. Yeah, absolutely. You get everybody gets standard move and minor, and you can downgrade standard to move, or minor and move to minor. I don't know why you would do that, uh, but you can. Gotcha. Okay. Um. Well, I'm gonna. Uh. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna shout an inspiring word up at uh, Oren up on the uh, on top of the spider. So you all right? I need, I need when you're gonna. It's gonna take all of us to bring this thing down. Get inspired. Nice. Are you done? Oh right. Yes. Sorry. Sweet. Oren, you're inspired. <laughs> you're a little bit healthier now than you were a minute ago. Yeah. Make the the horns gesture at Zoga. Oh, nice. <laughs> I, in in return, like like I, I try to give you the the elven greeting, but I just flip you off. Like it's, <laughs> I, I don't I don't quite understand. It doesn't it yet. have the nuance. So I just yeah. I just straight up flip you the bird with a big <laughs> smile on my face. I give you like a weak smile. <laughs> like, uh, uh, nice try. We'll work on that later. Okay. <laughs> All right. And the spider might have eight legs. Show it how to dance. So we're gonna stomp on it. So let's see. Let me target the spider. Please, please. 
Oh my yes. god. Yeah. You, you rolled a six, but you had so many fucking bonuses. You hit anyway. Oh, Hell you don't yeah. even know. Right. You don't even know yet. <laughs> you don't miss with the warlord's favor. You don't miss. <laughs> All right, here we go. Hmm. Okay, and hmm. then it's going to be a... I get this. And... I don't get that because that's if I miss. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that's villain's menace. That's my daily. And then I'm going to mark him before I forget. Spidey. And then what's the other thing I can do that's gonna Oh shit, damage? yeah. So now from now until the end of encounter, you get plus two to hit this guy the spider and plus four damage against him. Yes. yes. So I'm using Steel Serpent Strike. I use my action points so I can do like another thingy. Pew, pew, pew. Bah! Ooh. Ooh. Nice. <laughs> do, do, do. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Nice. And it added the plus yeah. four damage too. 23 damage. That's, nice. that's quite a lot, actually. Yeah. That is a lot. 23 plus nice. the spell from earlier. Uh, that's how you do it. All right. So I think um, I think that's all I can do on my turn. You guys have done 133 damage to this thing so far. Yeah. But now it's the spider's turn. Gosh. You're still restrained, right, Odie? You're still trapped in the webs. I am, yes. So I think that means that he's just going to try to bite you again. Well. And of course, he hits. Oh, because he attacks him. Yeah. Even though he's marked, mm -hmm. I get to hit him first. Okay, go for it. I won't do damage until. And I think it interrupts. Well, there's it, you. You might kill this thing depending on how much damage you do, but otherwise, otherwise. Yeah, just do like a hundred damage, and we'll be fine. Oh right, yeah. Just give me a. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll get right on it. <laughs> you got this, right? I mean, Odie did so. fifty damage at first level. Yeah. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Anyway, oh. as I was saying. <laughs> my soul left my <laughs> yeah, OD I feel like eats another 10 damage. And uh, OD. Right. And since you're restrained, Adam, Chris, the, we need you. The 10 damage, the 10 ongoing damage is back. Oh, because he bit me? Yep. Oh, I'm in trouble. Uh -oh. Oh, and at the end of his turn, he saves against Dazed, so he can move again if he wants to. That's cool. It did it automatically. People are cheering for the spider. Good. What? <laughs> so rude. Why? I look down at the uh, spider. It's very hard to see the spider over my rippling pecs. <laughs> <laughs> and probably some 70s medallion. Oh, man. Awesome. And I'm going to uh, grab the, the stone club, and you can hear the powder, the chalky powder around his hands <laughs> tightening as I bring it down for the open the gate of battle attack. Open technique. the gate of battle. Oh, yeah. Should have used at the beginning. Let's slip the, the dogs of war. Oh, I like Bam. It. <sighs> uh, and then I will, uh, with with that attack done, I'd like to think that I kind of take off a piece of the chitin, and then I would just like to punch right there. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> There's a bunch of now gooey spider bits all over your fist, or your or your right. your, your thing. And then your, uh, your cudgel. Then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shift one. Brunchin! Yes, that's the word. I'm going to shift <laughs> one Brunchin. just to stand on this side of Aaron and then smile and then pass my turn. Actually, why does... Come the, on, Demelza. Demelza is, is a good person. Uh, if Demelza kills this thing, she's going to level up. Actually, she might. Uh... None of her abilities are really super offensive. Uh, and except that, for and this that one that, that does 140 damage. Lavellus, it's up to you. <laughs> Look, I, I feel like there is a better time to do it, but who cares? I'm going to summon an angel of fire! Yeah. There we go. Yes. Flames Chris, of go, Chris, go. <laughs> okay, 
Yeah. So Frisco, let me grab. Right let me grab your uh, your your muse of fire and give it yes. the same as that and make it. Oops, sorry. If you could, a put, good guy. Put it like if you could just. Put I did it post like, a new token in the. Yeah. Discord, I'm sorry. You use I'm sorry. One. There. Okay. Sure. There. Yeah. Okay. Because yeah. I have to summon it. Well, no, no, it's not that specific or anything. It's just that I have to summon it within six squares. Oh, fair anyway. enough. Um, you could move a little closer so it would appear adjacent garbage. to the, but whatever. Yeah, well, then it's going to move, though. Oh, yeah, I forgot that you have to move it. Oh, okay, yeah, Sorry. well, okay. Where do you want to go? Here? Um, If it could just be, like, I don't know, hovering over the spider's face. That'd be nice. Like here? Here? Um. Okay, actually, you know what? Now that I'm looking at the little square down there, if you could move it to the bottom right corner of the square <laughs> okay. so that I don't... <laughs> Cook any allies this time? Yeah. That'd be great. Thank you so much for Happy. that. Happy um, <laughs> and I would love to um, just, you know, have a little bit of a barbecue. Let's see if it works. So I gotta <laughs> um, target the spider. I, did that work? Oops. I'm just moving a, a wagon. Give me a second. Everything's going wrong. Everything's fine. Am I targeting the spider? Are you targeting uh, the spider? Yes, I am targeting the yes, spider. Yes, you are Great. targeting the goblin mounted doom spinner spider. Wonderful. And I would love to just do a little bursty burst. Here we go. Boom. That's a seven, <laughs> folks. No. Please. It's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> okay. Is this your is this the fire angel that did a little thingy and then it Oh, <gasps> Phanazor! Yeah, Why? I just, I just took 10 points of damage at the start of my turn. I didn't have oh. enough left. Sir Phanazor, you, you see the, the, like his eyes start bleeding, blood starts coming out of his nose. You can see his veins. They're uh, like, Ew. they're pulsing, ah. they're pulsing green, which is really unusual. Um, it's not good. Wait, hang on a second. Uh, Guys, uh, okay. There we go. Uh, cool, awesome. Remember Sir Vanazor, everybody. Uh, Good times. Who's that for? Rick. Who's that text for? I mean, whoever can understand it. Oh, okay. I can't. Well then, you're dead anyway. Well, you're Don't worry, it's good. It's good news. <laughs> You're dead anyway. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, you, you can understand it. Anyway. So this well, first this first save is a, your death saving throw. Okay, uh, saving throws. Just uh, I think I see it. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Sixteen. Okay, you are um, good. You're not dying. All right. And I think um, the the effects. I, I'm going to rule that the poison effect goes away. Because it doesn't really make sense for it to continue while you're dead. It did its thing. But you're still restrained. Yes. Oh, I can't save against my restraint. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, you can. Well, no, yeah, okay. that's... That, well, um, go, yeah, go yeah, ahead. Yeah, go on then. <laughs> All right. <here> <laughs> yeah. Is my restraint save? And uh, that's not good enough. No, but... you are still... You are, so you guys see Servanazor, as he is described, call out, tries to roar. Um, he, he looks supernaturally ill but the webs that are hanging all over the place he's like is suspended in them Ugh. even though he's unconscious the webs still have him and mm. now it's all these people who are they they all gasp what the fuck they all gasp when they see Servanazor fall to the spider zoga all right It's pretty cool. This 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 is pretty cool battle. This is working out well for me, I think. So good, so good. All right. Last spider, yeah, well for someone. Spider, <laughs> there's, spider. There's only there's only spider. one thing to do here. I'm gonna taunt the spider. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Yes. Yes. yes! yes! <laughs> nice one. Classic nice. Zoga move. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my. Wait, Tom. Oh, you already used your Furious Assault. Fuck. Yeah, I Actually, used it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want to point to... I just want to... 
chat, look at my mouse here. I just want you guys all to see what's going on here. Yeah. Okay, good. Go ahead. <laughs> That's suspicious. Anyway. So I doing? just like, I just like jam my sword directly in between two of its presumably eight eyes and like maybe even like gouge one of them out. Absolutely. And then I just gouge like, one of them out. and then I just spread my arms wide and I just look, look at straight in its little dead black pool ball looking eyes and I just ah, <laughs> oh dead I'm eyes right here. Ah, come on do it <laughs> uh, yeah he's definitely going to try to attack you uh, he does not like you he is going to on target Cervanazor he's going to target oh, sorry I don't need to so he's going to target you yep and he's going to try and bite you and I say Oh, no, you fucking don't. Oh, and God. then I swing at this him. This is the last thing I fucking need. <laughs> Wait. Yay! Oh, damn it! This thing, by the way, it's it, this thing's chitinous exoskeleton gives it an incredibly high armor class for a creature that's not wearing armor. But it's huge. Your mom's huge. <sighs> she's, she's also a spider. How did you know that? Uh, so anyway, as I was saying, delicious goal. Oh! oh. Not a crit, but uh, mm. but but good. And oh, max damage, so it's like I critted. Ooh. And you're bloodied, Ooh. and you get also the ongoing poison, except you're not restrained, no. so it's only five per round. So you did the thing. Does it does anything cool happen? Because he took uh, his... well, yes. Co gets to Co gets to make a free attack against him. Go for it, Co. Yes. yes. Co. Co. Yeah, Co. we probably should have checked Co. for some rains or something Co. while we're up here. Co. <laughs> Finish it, go! 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 Yes! 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 Yay! Go! Say that, Spider. Uh, Co slams. Actually, Co, what what do you do? What is your attack? What is your basic Mm. attack? Yeah, so it's just a standard club. So he's gonna he's gonna bounce his pecs as he raises the club high above his head, uh, and he does a little hop so that. But for him, that's like ten feet up in the air, and then he just cracks down on the abdomen. It splits open. The spider uh, suddenly and abruptly slumps to the ground. All the hydraulic pressure that keeps its legs moving oozes out of it. Giant gouts of thin green liquid spray up out of the wound that Ko has created. And the spider twitches and then bursting out of its pregnant belly are... Uh, Stop. Thanks to, <laughs> thanks to chat's idea. Are millions of little tiny baby spiders that crawl... Burn the whole tree down. That crawl all over you. And these baby little goblin spider things. This happened to me in my life twice. Yes. Just for the record. Once, and it's fucking horrifying. Oh, Oh, my lord. So, hang on a second. The spider gets to, um... He's got Ko targeted, and now that person targeted, and now that person... I'm sorry, he had Zoga targeted. So now he has all four of you targeted. And, uh... This is... Hey, come here, you. I need... I need to create something here because this is new. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, hang on, this should be, there we go. Nert. And you all take this damage automatically. No. No. Do, 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 do. Wait, I've been so glad to be standing so far away. Uh, you're uh, you're dying. Fudge. Oh, okay. Oof. I'm still alive. Not all of us aren't dead. And the goblin doom spitter spider flips over onto its back. Its little legs oh curl into itself. <gasps> you know what? This makes things a lot easier. <laughs> Now we don't have to worry about Zoga and Vanna's are being in love with the fairies. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> we can just go. We can just leave. Unbelievable. Oh, oh, Unbelievable. No. You guys would be happier here. Look, we I, had a problem. Now there's no problem. Wow. <laughs> All problems solved. 
<laughs> Demelza runs over and and treat and helps work on your wounds. Oh, all right. Uh, no, hey. no, wait. Yeah, shut <laughs> Bloody elves. So you guys can each spend a healing surge, and you'll be back alive. All okay. right. Uh, 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 spent. I'm still pretty knackered, but definitely better than I was. Better have another one. You can only use, well, I mean, you're out of combat now, oh. so you can do as many healing surges as you want. Okay. While the angel's here, I'm just going to have it do a little extermination thing oh, it's with all the baby happy, spiders. Then. Yeah. It's it's just cleaning up. Because if there's one thing I've learned as an Australian, it's that spiders are flammable. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, it, it is perfectly happy to obey your orders and extinguish. And it really, what it wants to do is, it wants to char the dead spider. It wants to kill everything. It wants to, like, it wants to burn it to ash, is what it wants to do. Honestly, I want to give it free reign. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> you're free angel do what you want <laughs> welcome, to our, <laughs> welcome to our universe burn to your heart's content even after is there a natural part of the forest's uh you know regeneration cycle it's all very do, uh do me and zoga still feel the same way we felt before this nope. battle and nope. being dead when I... you come when you come to you're like why why did we want to stay here i don't remember <laughs> okay yeah this Good. this place is uh this place sucks. Not quite as excellent as uh, I'd previously assumed. I'm glad you all have come to your senses. Let's get the fuck out of here. No more spiders. Uh, I'm down with that. So I'm just going to shout to the whole group. Who's coming with us? Hey. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're going. <laughs> Everybody I, out. Yeah. I don't know if this is... Pack I think up my, your shit. I think this will do it. <laughs> Get the horses out of here. Go. Oh my God. <laughs> Your insulting. cows look like giant rats. You guys yeah. all, you guys all, Yay. you guys all level up. You have, you have. You're muted. I'm just excited. I'm muted? No, I think I just stopped talking. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. Not mid sentence. Yeah. I mean, that happens sometimes. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes I can brain. Sometimes I have the dumb. Uh, <laughs> so, you folks, you folks have found the lost caravan and you've defended it against the goblins but now and that's the end of this adventure the question is if you folks want to keep playing you can uh we can go on to other adventures the next one would be get these guys to safety but they're not going to necessarily agree on what their best uh, direction is to go they're going wherever they'll the fuck agree we go, with so. what we say yeah i mean that seems they, reasonable. They yeah. At our whim. <laughs> I think I think that they Can I roll a quick intimidation check just to like yeah, like push them all down <laughs> to the one level of the tree? Like <laughs> I love that. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, this Get might be here. this might be a good opera. This, uh, this would otherwise be a good opportunity for like a skill challenge because there are so many people you have to convince. Right. Uh, but actually, I think I think with all the fucking 20s you guys rolled tonight and Sir Vanazor, the dragon knight doing 50 damage. I think these people are like, man, whatever you say, 